What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so we finally made it to Fall Arbor Town, and well, there is a little something here that you guys need to check out once you get into the Pokemon Center. Now before, well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because well, yeah. Healing the Pokemon is always a great thing, and bam, look at that, they are healed up, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Now, there is an individual right there next to the PC. I wonder who this could be. Oh. Hello there, you are? Ah, oh, okay, you're Draven. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means that you use the Pokemon storage system I had developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple detective uh, process. Uh, you spoke to me because you wanted to access something on the PC. No, not really. You were just right there and, uh, yeah for walkthrough purposes and all that stuff. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great that you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me at my home over at Route 114. Okay, whatever you say. So, let's go right ahead and uh, continue our little adventure right here in Fall Arbor Town. Now, the first thing that you get to see is this. Good old May, mm, 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 saying, ah, oh, what a disaster. Oh, Draven, help. You've got to come with me, whatever you say, baby. So we're going into this big old house right here, and, uh, well, there is something afoot. There is a big foot in here, and you see? Professor Cosmo! He got abducted by some weird guys calling themselves Team Something or Other. Those shady characters call themselves Team Aqua! It seems as though that they have a plan, something, they, they, ha they plan to do something with the meter that they, uh, the professor has been researching. The professor is just too gullible. If you show the least bit of interest in his research, he'll be ha he'll he would happily go with you anywhere without question. Draven, please, you've got to say uh, you got to help me save him. They can't be uh, planning to do anything uh, good with Professor Cosmo's research. We have to do something. I, I I'm going to head over to or I'm going to head right after them or right after them right away. Let's meet up at the Meteor Falls. I'm counting on you, Draven. Oh well, yeah, somebody's got to count on me. Anywho, yes, Professor Cosmos. He is the homeboy that has the meteor, right? And, uh, well, we are finally here in Fall Arbor Town. Now, point of interest, there are usually two people in the vending areas right here that you can buy from. One where you can buy regular items such as Pokeballs, Max Revives, uh, or not Max Revives, but Revives, Potions, and all that stuff. Second one usually has something special, and for this one right here... He will be selling themselves quick balls, dust balls, and dive balls. I like, I like to buy Pokeballs, and I like to capture Pokemon with different kinds of Pokeballs, just so they can be distinct or whatever. I'm, I, I don't know. Ever since Pokemon started to incorporate different kinds of Pokeballs, I'm that type of dude. So, I want to say that like right after this, I'm going to be capturing pretty much the same Pokemon, or if not. I'm going to be doing some stuff with uh, these Pokeballs so I can, they can look distinct and all that stuff. Because yes, it's I guess it's ADHD for Pokemon, you know, since I've been playing this game for so long. And yes, there is a nugget right here, so that will replenish my that will replenish my whole uh, what was it, my whole funds. Now if you go right here, this is the Move Maniac's house. Let me teach your Pokemon some moves. This person right here will be teaching you or can teach your Pokemon different moves as long as you have a hard scale and the only way you can get hard scales e is either through thieving what was it called again uh, love disc or breaking or rock smashing some stones and you being lucky and getting a hard scale which I think I got like two of them and this is all this is all because I was trying to capture nose pass so let me see let me see right here nose pass uh, hard scales hard scales hard scales Yes, we found two hard scales, so that right there should be easy for me to just take care of. And, well, here we are in the next route, which is Route 114. This area, you can actually find quite a few Pokemon. Now, first things first, we're going to go right here. And if you talk to this kid, he's going to be like, My big brother's uh, the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole all by himself. You can have this so you can dig holes just like my big brother. And there you go. You get yourselves the TM-28, which is dig. And thankfully, this whole thing right here. Yes. This whole area right here, or in this game, you can actually... Well, TMs are unlimited. Unlike Brilliant Diamond and 
Shining Pearl and all that stuff. Anywho, I'm the Move Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around here all belong to me, none for you. If you can't go without a fossil, try at the desert at one, uh, Route 111. From what I heard, the fossils buried in the sand sometimes rise to the surface due to the sandstorms. This is true. This is so true. This is very, very true. Yes. And we will be getting, we will be heading into that uh, later bit on, a little bit later on. The funny thing is that in this, well, in this version of the game, including Omega Ruby, you can find different kinds of fossils from the older generation and then revive them, which, you know, we will be covering later on. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there something else that I need to do? Oh, yes, there is this individual right here. If you talk to him, he's going to be like, all my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Huh. If you could just please take this TM away. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the TM05 roar. And, well, no thank you, no nothing. He's just going to be like, whatever. So, let's go right ahead and start our Pokemon battles right here. And... The mission is to try and evolve some Pokemon, and let's go ahead and grab this item right here. And we get ourselves a Super Potion from Lanoon. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what these guys are all about. I think it's right about this point right here where I could, I could start switching up Pokemon. I can start thinking about switching up Pokemon. So, here we go, taking on Corefish. Now, the funny thing is, guys, that I am, I am thinking of switching up Pokemon later on and I, I I kinda feel as though that it will happen right around right around when we could start surfing because there there are a lot more Pokemon in the eastern north yeah in the eastern portion of the of the Unova region so once we reach that oh yes we're gonna be getting some Pokemon but for the time being we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna like this part right here. So here it is Thunderball ready to go coming up against a Whalmer and Let's go with Electro Ball. Yeah. Electro Ball for the win. There you go. That is how you do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And just like that, we defeat our good old buddy, this guy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this individual. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I am there even if I am fishing. Ah. True. Okay, so we're going to be taking on Fisherman Nolan, and yes, he is coming out with a goddamn Gyarados. Holy buckets. I probably should have uh, started off with the Electro Ball right here. This is uh, going to be a tough battle right here, but there's a big booty right there, and uh, we can use Thunder Ball just because, yeah, it, it can. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few things. Like, it, it won't be affected, and here comes a Dragon Rage, which is. An automatic 40 points deduction, and well, it needs two more of those. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with an Electro Ball. Give it quad damage right there. Look at that. And just like that, wow. Oh, yes. We get some more HP. We get some more, uh, what was it called? Uh, experience points. And Shadow Eye grows to level 22. Fisherman Nolan doesn't look like he's happy. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and move on right here. I think there might be another fisherman right here. It might be in this area. No, not really. Okay, so here we are in Route 114, and Lynette said to go find her. What we're going to do right now is... Yes, we're going to be looking into some Pokemon. Now, in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, you will be able to find some Vipers right here. So Vipers are, you know, version exclusive. And, uh, well, I'm not going to capture it with that. i got to be more specific with the kind of Pokeball I use. Let's go with a Luxury Ball, because the Viper, to me, looks more luxurious than anything. Yes, I've seen the effects of a Luxury Ball. It does make a Pokemon happier. Um, so, look at that. Messes us up with the, with the Poison Tail right there. So, we're going to use a Nature Power. See what that happens. And this turns into an Energy Ball. Bam. Hits it pretty hard, and here comes a lick. Another Pokemon that like has come to mind is Saviper. I remember one time playing Pokemon's, uh, what was it, Sapphire a long time ago. 
Yeah, I, I remember using uh, Surviper on my team, and it, it came out pretty handy. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that it was just a monotype right here. And Well, as you guys can see, it is uh, currently messing with me because of, uh, you know, it's a, a variety of effects right there. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this guy. And, wow, are you serious? This Pokemon does not want to get captured. Okay, alrighty. Let's see, um, Luxury Balls will not work. So let's go with something different. A Dust Ball, no. Um, a Nest Ball. You know what, let's go with a Nest Ball. Let's see what happens right here. Nest Ball, go. I will be trading a uh, Surviper to Omega Ruby, and I will be getting a Zangoose into Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, so don't worry, guys. We got a lot of stuff going on. So, there you go. We caught ourselves a Surviper. And, well... Surviper is looking uh, pretty cool right here. Look at this. Surviper, the Fang Snake Pokemon. Surviper's sword-like tail serves two purposes. It slashes foes and douses them with secreted poison. This Pokemon will not give up its long-running feud, blood feud, with Zangus. Now, I kind of want to see what happens if, like, you know, you put them in double battles together as, as a team. Will they like each other? I kind of want to see that. For science. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these. We found ourselves some Aspier Berries. And we're going to be finding quite a few of them right here. So that's that's pretty cool right now. So there we go. And let's see. Let's go right here. And there you go. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that. Let's go straight into this house right here. Lynette's house. Now... Going into Lynette's house, there's going to be something that something pretty good that's going to happen. Oh, Draven! I'm sorry, uh, everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. Uh, this is embarrassing. Keep, uh, please keep uh, this a secret in exchange for this. We get ourselves a low tad doll, and after that, there's something else that she wants you to do. Oh, Draven, I want you to organize. You want to organize your boxes in, in the PC more efficiently, efficiently, don't you? Yes, that's what I thought. How I arrived to that conclusion is a simple deductive process. Just because you look, uh, you took the trouble to talk to me, then please wait for a while. So after talking to Lynette right here, she's going to fix up your PC box to where the organized boxes on the PC will now be at the start of the whole, uh, the start of the whole, uh, you know, selection screen right there. Literally. Withdraw or deposit Pokemon should be taken out because, you know, all we do is organize Pokemon and all that stuff. It's basically the same thing. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing. I'm gathering berries so I can win the Pokemon contest. If you'd like, I'll share one with you. And there it is. We got ourselves a Nana Berry. And, well, let's see. We have a double battle ready to, ready to happen. This place is nice and filled with some pretty, pretty diverse Pokemon right here. And here we found ourselves a uh, Swablu. This Pokemon right here has the ability to transform into a Dragon-type Pokemon, as many of you guys already know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture it with a Quick Ball right here. So let's go. Quick Ball. There we go. One, two, three. And there you go. Bam! Bam! We got Swablu. Okay, so that right there is another Pokemon for the PC. And this one, yes, as many of you guys already know, we've used in the past. Swablu, the cotton bird Pokemon, a flying and normal type Pokemon. Swablu loves to make things clean. If it spots something dirty, it will wipe it and polish it and it will with its cottony wings. If its wings become dirty, this Pokemon finds a stream and showers itself in it, which is great. So let's go ahead and name this Pokemon. If you guys remember, we bequeathed this Pokemon the name Fluff Blade. Eventually, I'm going to have all the blades here ready with me just to battle everybody and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead, name it Fluff Blade, and bam! There it is. Fluff Blade for the win. And, uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and just move out of this whole thing. Okay, so what's next? Oh yeah, we've, we've almost captured the majority of these Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon. Let's go with uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight 
and Tommy JDF since it's like one level close to evolving right here. So here we are. Who taught you how to battle like that? Okay, well, me. I got to learn, especially through my my uh, my subscribers too. Which again, I would like to say thank you to every single one of you guys for helping me or for educating me just a little bit more on into Pokemon because I was always only about uh, always only about attacking and not thinking uh, thinking it through with the whole strategic portion of this whole thing. So thank you guys again. Thank you. You guys have been a big help. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, go back just a little bit right here. Let's go with a magical leaf. Actually, not that. Come on. Got to press the right one. Damn it. Let's go Magic Leaf. Right there. And Flame Charge for that one. And there we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Just like that, we are another victory away. Look at this. Level 28. We are getting there. And... Well, actually, we're getting there with both of these Pokemon, and Lanoon is just, like, mooching off the, the experience points that we're getting. And here comes a uh, Magical Leaf. And Azumarill, or Azumarill, is just tanking everything. Yes, I do have a shiny Azumarill on my team. Or not on my team, but in my box. And I think I've already explained how I got that. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a double Kick right here. And there we go. Double Kick. Double kick, and this guy's tanking everything. Holy crud. Okay, here we go. Confusion attack for the win. And there we go. You are no longer the best Pokemon ever. Okay, alrighty. And Shadow Eye mooching off of us. There we go. We had, uh, we had had quite a few experiences right here and there. Okay, so the next thing. Let's see. There is an item right here. Right after this Pokemon battle. I should probably put on some Repel. Just, you know, just saying. And here we found ourselves a Lombre. And uh, the cool thing is that, you know, you can find Lombres here all the time. And, you know, you can use the Dex Nav to get in a get a Lombre that you'll probably want to get. So, let's go right ahead. And, actually, there is a Pokemon right there. But you will be finding yourselves a Carbos right here. And while I'm at it, I probably should, uh, yeah, I probably should put a, put on a repel right here because, yeah, it's getting to a point where, like, okay, I don't want to capture that Pokemon, but I kind of need to, you know, that kind of stuff. So, let's go right ahead and see what Pokemon we're talking about. We've already captured this guy. It is a poison-type Pokemon. That is a Surviper. Yeah, I've already gotten you. Let's go ahead and battle some Pokemon trainers. Anywho... So, just a little bit of a talk right here, guys. Um, so, it is currently July the 2nd. Um, it is my birthday month, okay? And uh, I am what? So this is episode 22, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong or anything like that. Yes. Um, I'm literally taking the, the current weekend right now because we are currently on a Sunday as I'm recording this. Crap baskets! Holy buckets! Okay, so that one was a... Okay, steel tap Pokemon. I completely forgot about that. So, like I was saying, I'm taking advantage of this, this weekend, including, you know, going into July 4th, um, to make some more videos of both Pokemon White 2 and Ome uh, Alpha Sapphire. Literally doing that. Why? Well... We got one more month until my, my months or my days start getting busier and busier. I think it's a good idea. Um, I think it's a good idea to take advantage of like making multiple episodes, you know, at least 10 to 15 uh, for right now. I know that many of you guys are saying, hey, maybe you should just slow down, be patient and stuff. Yeah, I am doing that. It's just I'm being I'm being more secure on if if I have episodes, if I create episodes right now, if I create episodes right now and have them in stock, I will have them. And I won't have to worry about, like, you know, playing the game, playing the game uh, every single weekend just to make five episodes. I can just wait until, like, you know, everything runs down to do another 10 or 15 episodes. That's what I've been doing ever since I restarted with Pokemon Yellow. I'll go, I'll go in all the way up to right here. So that's 
that right there, you know, hooray for July. That's probably the greatest thing. And well, as you guys can see right here, May's looking around. He's like, you guys are, wh where are you taking Professor? Hey, wait up! Hmm. She is looking. Of course, I am wearing uh, these antenna because I kind of want to just like, <laughs> I, I kind of want to just uh, locate for these items right here. So, so yeah, like I was saying, guys, I am stocking up on a lot of vi uh, videos right here because, well, you guys deserve entertainment, especially with everything that's going on. Now, um, I have been reading some of the comments as of lately, and some of you guys are just waiting patiently for Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Coliseum yet again. We're going to be doing that. Don't worry. I am, you know, I, I hear you loud and clear, and, you know, I remember how, like I said, I was going to do the, these, these walkthrough videos for the weekends only, so... One video each does not hurt. It really doesn't. So we're going to try and do that. And, well, come on. Fin oh, come on, my noon. You got to faint. Oh, yeah, we can't We can't use anything else because uh, I think I gave Gaia uh, yeah, an item. And, well, Magical Leaf, here we go. Yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff right here. And hopefully, just hopefully, everything works. Uh, another thing, too, guys, I've... Yeah, like I've I may have mentioned this in the in our last few episodes, but yes, uh, playing Pokemon Omega Ruby on the side, I am recording every location of the Mega Stones. Yes, I know I'm like I am literally wide. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally late to this whole thing. I could have done this like when this whole thing started, but yeah, it's 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 stupid. It is very very stupid. But yeah, um, what was it? There it is, level 36, Tommy JDF is about to evolve yet again. And it is learning Focus Energy. I am not going to use that for right now. And yes. Okay, let's go ahead and Digivolve and then start talking some more about business and stuff. So, here it is. Digivolution time. That's right, Zero Ranger 5, red. So... We've started this whole thing a while back, and now here we are. Tommy JDF finally evolving into the ultra-powerful Blaziken. This Pokemon right here is iconic just because of the way it looks. But as many of you guys have told me, Swampert is the is the Pokemon to go. <laughs> so it wants to learn Blaze Kick. This is a very, very powerful move, and you know, it met it like it kind of gets me all mad because you know it doesn't have a move like this flame charge so I'm going to replace it and there we go blaze kick now a Pokemon that I never got why I didn't learn blaze kick was uh, what you would call it the Baneri or whatever the fuck whatever the fuck the 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 uh, what was it called Galar Pokemon's named anywho continuing on for more business right here in this crater right here okay so it's right down the middle here we found ourselves a Comet Shard, which you can actually sell for a boatload of money. And yeah, it's telling me look for the look for the middle right here. You'll be finding a rare bone, which is another another uh, you know an item that you can actually sell for a nice amount of uh, chunk chains. And here we're gonna be finding two areas: one with an er energy powder, and the other one with a secret base location. So yeah. So anywho, um, yeah. I'm doing a. I'm, I'm playing Pokemon Omega Ruby on the side just so I can um, just so I can show you guys where to find these uh, these secret locations or the locations for the the Mega Evolutionary Stones and um, you know we've done we've done quite a few uh, like we've we, we've done quite a few of them including uh, we've got to the Lati one the Lati one it. You get half a half a mega stone because it's the same thing for both Latios and Latias. So don't think I'm going to be re-recording that for uh, the opposite Pokemon right now. Maybe. I, well, we will be recording it right here as part of this, as part of the part of the walkthrough and all that stuff. So here we go. Take it on a Wingle. Let's go right ahead and use Thunderball right here. And uh, well, let's see what Thunderball can do right now. It can win. It will win. So here we go, taking on uh, Wingle, and let's go with an Electro Ball, just for the win. Alrighty, okay, look at that, and there you go. Mm-hmm. And look at that. Okay, so we have defeated Bernie, and 
Well, let's see. What do we need to do now? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. As you guys, as you guys can see, guy. Well, actually, you know what? We're gonna keep it right here. Guy is about to evolve. I do have a rare candy. I probably should wait on it. Wait on it until it gets to level 29. And before we battle that guy, there might be a hidden item right here somewhere. Nope, not right here. One can only wish, right? Yeah, one can only wish. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Stop moving around. He probably doesn't want to battle us. Alrighty. So here we go. And here comes a Geodude. And let's see, what else can I talk about? Now I have gotten comments onto onto my onto my Instagram. Yeah, I still use it. Just not I'm not too active. Which I probably need to get active on. But like I was saying, um, in my Pokemon, or in my Instagram, some of you guys have asked about my Hack Game channel. Yes, I know, I haven't been doing much on that either. Well, uh, it wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt to go back on it. Um, all the videos that I've record, like recorded for, you know, what was it called? Um, all the Pokemon videos that I recorded for Pokemon, uh, what was it, Liquid Crystal and all that stuff, I really don't want to do it again. Um, I'm trying to find a way to re-download these things. That way I can, you know, I can put them right here onto this channel or onto that channel and stuff. And Shadow Eye is learning Punishment. Let me see this. Let's see. Punishment. Uh, let's see. The more the target has powered up, the stat changes, the greater the move's power. Huh. Wait. The more the target has powered up with stat changes, the greater the move's power will be. Hmm. It actually works very well with Shadow uh, Shadow Eye right here. Hmm. I could I could use it. You know what? Let's go ahead and take away Detect because well, <laughs> yeah, this, this move right here, it actually moves. It actually works well with Shadow uh, Shadow Eye, especially with its uh, with, with its ability Stall. So I'm thinking about the future right there. So yeah, it doesn't it. For me, like when I when I'm thinking about this, it's like it doesn't really hurt to actually go back to playing those games and re like re, uh, re downloading them. It's just the amount of time that I have to get to to actually finish them up. So, I'm not making any any promises or anything like that, but there might be a chance that we might go back to to doing that if I can find a way to just re download many of these things right here. So. Once that happens, well, I'll let you guys know. And, well, here we are going back into battling uh, a Machop. Here comes Ole. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Bubble Beam attack. And there we go. Bubble Beam. Machop defeated. And there we go. Okay, so, Lenny, you, you, you have been defeated, homeboy. You have been defeated. So let's go ahead and move on right here. We're finally towards the end, and, well, what we need to do is we're going to be going into Meteor Falls, and there are quite a few things that you can find right here, but the big, the big, big picture right here has to be what is going on with Professor Cosmos, and here we found ourselves a full heal, and, well, let's go right ahead and get attacked by a Pokemon. This is Alpha Sapphire, so you might be getting one of the two uh, Lunar Stones or whatever. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the heck out of here. We don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. So let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch it up right now. Let's go with Gaia the Fierce Knight, and let's go right ahead and heal him up just a bit because, well. Chances are it might evolve. And what else? Ah, look at that. Okay, so there is a hidden item right around here somewhere. But our girlfriend, she is waiting. And she's like, give up, you bozos. Let the professor go. Huh? What's this? Who is this spoiled brat? Draven, you came. We've got to save Professor Cosmo from these people. There are two of them and a two of us. Draven, please, let's battle with me. Battle with me. Yes, I will. Whatever you say, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Good job, Nintendo. Anywho, 
Ah, so even I, Team Aqua Admin Shelly, have been made a fool. Fine. Brats who don't know uh, how to watch their mouths must be punished. I won't forgive you if you cower in fear either. Ha 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 ha. This will be my first time battling beside you, Draven. I've got to do my best. I love the way how she just like, she, she, she wants to do it because she doesn't want to embarrass herself in front of me. Man, I am the prize. Finally. Finally, I'm being treated like I am the prize. And well, look at this. We are taking on Team Aqua. And they're going to be coming out with their Pokemon, Grimer and Mightyena. The trademark Pokemon right here. And it looks like to me, we got double weaknesses all over the place. So let's go right ahead. Dragon Kiss will not do much. But if we go to Grimer first, that will be great. And here comes a Swagger attack. That is going to mess this Pokemon up just a little bit. So let's see. Here we go. Confusion attack. Nearly does its trick, and come on, Trumish. There we go. Headbutt attack. Finish it off. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. This is working. This is great. And who is next? Thunderball grows to level 33. And, well, let's go with a powered up Draining Kiss. Since it is powerful against, uh, what was it called? Uh, well, this guy. And, of course, it's going to be using a Swagger attack on us. So, good gravy. Come on. Come on. God dang it. Okay, so we're going to have to... Okay, so it snaps out of confusion. So May can take it from here, I guess. I, I don't know. So here we go. Mighty Anna going with a Snarl attack. And that hits us both. And this will lower our special attack, which... Oh, crap, Baskets. Come on. Let's go. Oh, God. Yeah, we are not doing so hot right now. And that sharp increase in, uh, in attack is really not working right now. So, let's see. Oh, let's go with a Sodi Pop. Let's give that Sodi Pop right here. And there we go. We're just giving it a little bit of a boost. And here comes an Odor Sleuth. Obviously, it's going to try and locate us. That way it won't miss. And here comes a Worry. A Worry Seed? Are you, are you serious? A Worry Seed. Oh my god, okay, so let's not do that. Let's go right ahead and... Damn it, not that. Let's go with the Draining Kiss. Come on, beat it. Stop, oh, come on. Jeebus, criminy. This is getting annoying. It really is. But Trumus is still helping us out right here. Come on. And here comes a roar, so it's helping me out. And who is it going to be? Oh, you're 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 gonna be you're gonna be messed up right here. So, here we go. Let's get it. Bubble beam. Finish this guy off. Ole. And there you go. No more. That's how you feel. That's that's how it should happen. And Lanoon grows to level 30 without doing anything. And it grows to level 30 before what you call it. Uh, before uh, Gaia. So, let's go Razor Leaf attack without getting hurt. And there we go. That is how you do it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And just like that, we have defeated the Team Aqua Grunts and Admin and whatever her name is. Yeah, buddy, okay. So, after defeating the Admin, he, she's going to be like, Ah, did I go too easy on you? Probably. We did it, we did it, Draven. If the tremendous energy of Mount Chimney and the Meteorite are combined, we are team. We of Team Aqua can take a giant step toward the world uh, that we dream of. We won't let ignorant brats like uh, brats get in our way. Uh oh. Hmm. Do these mere children give you so much trouble? You, an admin of Team Aqua. Uh oh. Where is that? Who, who, who's there? I love this theme song right here. And would you look at that? It's this guy. It's Maxi. And if you're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, it's, you know, it's Archie. So take a look. Oh my god, this guy right here is looking all smug and everything. <laughs> Even Team Mama showed their faces, huh? There's nothing to be done about. Hey, grab the meteorite. Aye aye. And there it is, the yoink. Come on, hand over the meteorite. Uh oh. Professor! And grab the meteorite before he could jump into the falls. <laughs> Later days, brats. The team and Team Magma. All right, time to rush to Mount Chimney. 
Okay. Hmm. Huh. Maxi, we must give the chase to Team Aqua or else. Hmm. And he's walking straight towards me. I'm like, ah, you don't scare me, man. You don't scare me. My name is Maxi. I lead an organization known as Team Magma. We work to uh, we work for the future happiness of all mankind. From what I've seen here, it appears that you are working against our rivals, Team Aqua. Fine, amuse yourself with uh, with those Team Aqua fools, but be careful to be careful you do not impede our goals. Be you, child or grown, oppose us in the slightest, and I, the Great Maxi, will show no mercy. Yeah, come come catch me over in Pokemon Omega Ruby. You won't like what you see. Anywho, May is gonna be like, oh bother. I have no idea what's going on anymore with all these people. Never mind those nuts, Professor. Are you okay? But they they they, they took I only. Looks like they they still well it looks like he's still pretty out of it, Draven. Never mind never mind what's happened. I've got to get the professor back to his lab in Fall Arbor Town. Okay, Professor, easy now. So we're gonna be going straight to Fall Arbor, and look at this man. This is beautiful right here. The graphics and everything. And, well, would you look at this? We are now back to Fall Arbor Town. Later that day. Well, we're back, and, well, the wifey is not too happy. She's like, ah, Professor! Thank the stars above, Professor, you're back. <laughs> Thanks to these children, I somehow returned. Those nuts back there. What do you think they're, uh, they're hoping to do with the Professor's meteorite? From the look of them, they look seemed like uh, they. From the look of them, they kind of seem like the bad guys. But we've both got to be careful. Though I'm not worried a bit uh, if they if it's you and your team, Draven. But I need you. I need to thank you as well, or I need to thank you as well. You truly saved me from disaster. I hope you'll take this TM as some small form of repayment. And here it is, guys. We get ourselves the TM23. Layeth the smack it down on their candy. You know what? Wow. Thanks, Professor. Well. What are you going to do next, Draven? I'm checking. To, uh, I'm thinking to checking out the next gym on my list. It's the one in Mauville City. Why don't you come uh, with me to Mauville? Sure, let's go to Mauville. Right on. Let's hit the road. I, I've already defeated that gym, but it is a shortcut. It literally is a shortcut. So we've arrived to Mauville City. Up ahead is Mount Chimney, huh? The, what? Uh, that's the place those uh, those nut jobs are at Meteor Falls were talking about too. Be careful, Draven. It might get dangerous around there. It might, but it's no worries. Because I could take care of anything. Anywho, this has been this episode. Yes, it's been nice and long, like kind of what, what you guys wanted. In the next episode, we will be going through... Well, we're going to be going to Mount Chimney and taking care of business up there. Hopefully, everything turns out, you know, it, it goes well because, well, crud. There's going to be a lot of fights. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, patient and as supportive as possible. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.